Dana White just announced that on September 9th in Sydney, Australia, Israel Adesanya will put his belt on the line against Mr. Man Dance himself, Sean Strickland. And it's looking like a decent card here. We've got Tai Tuivasa. This is crowd is going to go insane. I cannot wait to see Tai Tuivasa's ring walk. The crowd is probably going to go crazy for this fucking guy. And he will be taking on Alexander Volkov. I expect to see fireworks for this fight, man. Both guys are tend to knock people out. Both guys tend to get knocked out. So this, without a doubt, is going to be a mega fight. I do think Tai Tuivasa, man, I would love to see Tai Tuivasa get a win here. Imagine Tai Tuivasa knocks Volkov out cold. He jumps on that cage in Australia, does a shoey. Oh my God, man, the crowd will go crazy. That would be probably the biggest moment in Tai Tuivasa's career thus far, without a doubt, man. So I, I'm kind of pulling for Tai Tuivasa, man. We love the guy. I hope he wins. So we can get a crazy, crazy highlight, a crazy moment for this Australian crowd. And then, of course, we got Kai Cutter France fighting on this card. I'm sure Dan Hooker would have won to get on this card, man. That's what we're missing. We're missing the hangman, but, you know, he's still dealing with injuries from that Jalen Turner fight. Rightfully so. That fight was insane. So, hey, Dan, Dan the man, go heal up, get right. So we can see another war from you, my friend. And then Mr. Knockout himself, another fighter who goes out there and is willing to freaking bang. Justin Taffa, he's rematching Austin Lane. Austin Lane, a very freaking big guy and a knockout artist himself. So this fight, I'm also expecting a knockout for this one for sure. So this card, not as stacked as other cards in the past and other cards going on this year. But it's definitely a big card for Australia. They're putting on all... That's what I like about these fights, right? They're putting on a fight in Australia. So let's throw all these Australian fighters on there. All the popular Australian fighters. So they can fight in front of their home crowd. And that's what I like. The fight card as a total might not be as crazy as the others. But we're still going to be in for one great night of fights. And hey, you can't judge a book by its cover. I remember there was a card that people were talking mad crap about. I don't remember how long ago it was. It wasn't a pay-per-view. It was a UFC fight night. People were talking all this crap saying how, you know, there was no good fighters on there. It's not going to be entertaining. And then I'm pretty sure they tied with the record of the most finishes on a card. So when it comes to the UFC, man, even the nobodies, even the guys you've never heard of, they could put on a crazy, crazy, crazy fight because who knows, man, they might bring in a lot of young guns that are from Australia that want that win bad and are hungry for that win. They pop, maybe never haven't fought, maybe never have fought in Australia in their entire career, maybe haven't fought in Australia in a very, very long time. So they're going to be hungry and they're going to want to get that win in their home country because, you know, the fans are going to pop out early because we, we don't get much of these cards in Sydney, Australia. So, you know, the fans are going to pop out really early. They're going to be active. They're going to be loud and they're definitely going to be there to cheer on their home crowd fighters. So I expect this I expect this card cards like these always deliver man cards like these always deliver so I expect this to be a banging of a card great fights top to bottom regardless of the names regardless of who we see and you know we're probably going to see a lot of new guys and new faces coming into the UFC but I'm sure they are going to be willing to put on a great show for all of us so I'm excited for this card and Israel Adesanya Sean Strickland hey Drakus Duplessis is a little bit injured. I know a lot of us want to see that Drakus fight, but he is a little bit injured from that Robert Kerr Whitaker fight, and he just doesn't want to take the chance. You know, this is the biggest fight of his life. This is for a world title. Literally, the biggest fight of his life. He wants to make sure he's 100%. So, no knock on Drakus. He can get the next shot. There's no problem in that. Izzy just wants to stay active. He wants to give us the fights we want to see. He wants, you know... Hey, if this guy doesn't want to fight, can bring on the next contender. That's what I love about Izzy, man. He's willing to fight anybody and everybody. You can knock on his antics outside of the octagon. I, I'm fine with that. You know, I, I don't agree with a lot of the stuff that he does and says outside the octagon. But you can't deny. Izzy is a striking master. And he goes out there and he puts on some really good fights. Some of them have been lackluster. But you can't put the blame on him, man. He's a counterpuncher. If guys aren't willing to go and put the action on him like Kelvin Gastelum was, we're not going to get a crazy fight from Israel Adesanya because he's a counterpuncher. You know, we need someone who's going to go bring the fight to him. 
And Sean Strickland might be that guy. We have seen Sean lay back a little bit in some fights. But lately, he's been looking good in the striking department, man. And, you know, Sean has that very, very weird style that, like, come forward, straight up, lean back, lean back. And people just barely miss him. And we know Izzy's got those long arms, long limbs, long legs. He can he can hit you with that question mark kick that's super fast. So we've seen Star Strickland get hurt and get dropped by Alex Pajeda. Can Israel Adesanya do the same and put Sean Strickland down? Is Sean Strickland going to wrestle or is he going to want to do the man dance? We're going to find out, man. Do we see? Let me know what you guys think. Can we see Sean Strickland as a new middleweight champion? I don't know. I just I just can't see it, man. I don't know. I think Izzy's just too crafty on the feet. But I'm interested to know what you guys think. Does Sean Strickland win this middleweight title and do what many, many others in this division were not able to do? Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for rocking with me. And I'll catch you in the next video.